What is going on? Ryan here. Today, we're going to talk about large language models and machine learning. Yep, I'm talking about OpenAI and Dialogflow within your chatbot. Let's get into it. And we are in our analytics dashboard. In another tab here, I've got Dunkin' Donuts FAQ page. Next, we're going to hop on over to Dialogflow. Dialogflow is a very powerful AI that we've got an awesome integration with. If you haven't experimented with Dialogflow yet, you're going to need to create a new agent. So let's do that now. Let's just call this Duncan AI. My time zone is going to be New York. Um, and we don't need to do anything else. We can just hit create. Dialogflow actually gives you some default intents. A welcome message as well as a fallback or a default reply. We're gonna wanna go ahead and delete these guys. Just delete, boop, gone. Because this will interfere with our integration and our integration is sweet. All right, so we've got no intents right now. We've got nothing, nothing going on. So what we wanna do is enable our knowledge base. And it's gonna tell us knowledge connector is a beta feature. Enable this. To do that, we're going to hit this gear icon. Click the gear, and we're going to have some additional settings. What we want to do is scroll down here to beta features. Enable beta features and APIs. Click save. Now well, we can go back to knowledge base, and it's no problem. Create your first one. So let's do that now. Create the first one. We're going to call this Duncan Knowledge Base. Save. Great. No document has been created. Now you can upload a PDF or a CSV or do what we're gonna do and that's connect to a live URL. No document has been created yet, let's change that. Create the first one. We'll call this um, Duncan Web um, KB, knowledge base. The knowledge type will be an FAQ. It's gonna come from HTML. Let's grab that link and we'll paste the URL here. Awesome. This is a cool feature. Enable automatic reload. And what does this say? By enabling automatic reload, Dialogflow will automatically reload the document every day at a time picked by the system. This feature is only available for documents sourced from public URLs. So, hello, Google love. Now, this is going to take a while, depending on how many questions and answers there, there are. A quick tip call it a pro tip if you will you can take all the text just copy and paste the text into something like chat gpt or even better the playground and say format this into an faq and you could even say format it into a table one question one answer based on all of this information here that is going to save you so much time and so many tokens to summarize your, your website in that way. And you can actually upload that FAQ right into Dialogflow. So now we can see we've got our Duncan Web Knowledge Base loaded. Let's click View Details. And we can see the questions and the answers have loaded right here. So where can I find Duncan Nutrition Information? Um, we've got pages, six pages of questions and answers from Duncan Donuts. So let's hit save and we'll go back to knowledge base here. Um, let's click back in and what we're gonna wanna do is add a response. And so we've got the knowledge base answer. With the text response here, Dialogflow automatically gives us a knowledge base answer number one. I believe they give you three different choices here based on the probability of this being what the user wants. They have a, their own machine learning ranking system going on with this stuff. This is typically what we've been doing in the past, but now we've got open AI. So to make the answers better, then what we can do is use open AI to, to make it a, a more natural sounding response. So let's, let's just run a test really quick. Let's choose, let's click restaurants, products, Let's see, expand all. Where can I find Dunkin' Donuts nutrition information? All right, so let's paste in this answer here, guys, and let's check it out, and perfect. We've got the answer. Let's verify that it is the correct answer from 
their FAQ. It looks like it is absolutely perfect. And so now what we'll do, we'll go over to our account in the Flow Builder. And in the Flow Builder, all right, so our goal is to save the answer that we get from Dialogflow using the knowledge base feature saved into a custom field. And I'm gonna use the custom field DF. Um, and this template here that you see, I've got something similar, DF flow. Um, but what I wanna do is I'm just gonna create a new one just because it's gonna be more like how you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna use the labels um, dialog flow version here. Um, I'm gonna label this so I can understand which response is coming from which AI. So first we're gonna get the dialog flow response and it's gonna be saved in a custom field called DF. All right, so we've got that saved. I'm gonna go ahead and change that here in my little cheat sheet notes. And then we're gonna use OpenAI as the next step to generate a new and better answer. No need to put any business information here. We're just gonna use a straight prompt and we're gonna just make it a little bit better, make it more natural sounding. I'm gonna make sure I do use the newly updated correct cuff that I made, custom field, DF. So make DF better, basically. Um, I don't need to worry about putting much else. We'll get a little fancy here and we'll make the tone that of Elon Musk. All right, so we've already got a custom field set, open AI answer. So I think we're looking good here. All right, so, all right. So now we've got our AI generated text from OpenAI based on our dialog flow response that we've saved in our cuff. We're gonna take that text that we just generated and we're gonna put that in front. We're gonna put that next to the OpenAI answer label here. So we've got two labels, the first for dialog flow, then for OpenAI, and we're gonna judge those responses and record them here using a get user data input function from the get content section of that block called ask which was better. We'll take this newly updated code and we've got one more step. We're gonna include the flow ID where it says flow ID. We'll copy this text and now we're ready to use this in dialogue flow. So this is gonna be something you haven't seen yet. We'll, we'll go ahead and trash that flow. We'll trash the original, we'll trash that original response Google gives us and we'll paste in our new payload here, just like that. And with that, we should be ready to rock. We see it's being set in the custom field, the custom field's DF, knowledge base answer, let's hit save. And that is all it takes, guys. Let's go ahead and test this out. So to test this, let's use web chat. We'll copy the link. We'll paste that link into a new tab. Now, keep in mind, um, the whole point of Dialogflow's FAQ is for the machine learning to understand in whatever way the user is asking a question to understand, okay, extract that from the knowledge base from the FAQs and spit that back out to the user. And let's see what happens here. We'll get the exact match from Dialogflow and a more creative match in theory. Boom, baby, that is how you do it. How fast was that? We're using two different AIs here. Machine learning from Dialogflow and large language models here with OpenAI. And let's see which answer is better. Dialogflow. Our full product nutritional allergen information is available in PDF form on DuncanDonuts.com website. You can also view additional product information uh, by exploring our menu at Dunkin' Donuts website. Open AI answer. At DunkinDonuts.com, we provide comprehensive nutritional and allergen information for our entire product line in the form of a downloadable PDF. I love it. Way better. Additionally, our menu on the website allows you to access detailed ingredients, allergen information uh, for each individual product. We believe in transparency and in empowering our customers to make informed choices about their food. Which answer is better? I'm going to go ahead and say Open AI. And that is how you do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for being part of the awesome community here. And y'all have a great day.